Shall we go again? Welcome in, my friends. So we've already gotten the youth recruitment upped. So that happened. I just tried that on my own. We also have 30 games unbeaten in the league. It's a league record. Going pretty pretty well. Um, so we don't need to try for that. So let's discuss the... Okay. We've still got 9.3 million in the bank. Let's discuss the current vision. I want to get the high profile taken care of, taken off. Uh, remove high profile. Um... Let's make a request to the board. What else can we ask for? We already tried uh, buying the stadium. How about training facilities or youth coaching? I think I don't care about data analysis. So I really do care about the training. We got the money now. Training facilities. Okay. We believe that improving the training facilities is a fair request. Like I didn't have to push on that. Okay. I, I think we've won. We've got increased uh youth recruitment we got training facilities we're not gonna get stadium let's get rid of high profile i think we're good i don't have any other changes to propose pen to paper boom oh wait oh come on lads 2.4k a week i mean i don't really care but 2.5 you're gonna lock me in for three years you know um yeah, you can take half my pay if we get relegated. That's a, that'd be a big drop, wouldn't it? 2.6. Oh, we're so close. I know. Let's try 2.5. Sure. You give me 100 euro. <laughs> it's only you know, like, we only made like 5 million euros in the in the Europa League Champions League run. But, you know, that's fine. You can give me 100 a week. I, I'm not insulted at all. Finalized deal. All right, people. Let's see. Does Is it going to say something about how long it'll take um, for the training facilities? 850 grand. I really think that's a drop in the bucket when you got 9 million in the bank. And it's... Ooh, okay, end of season. Mm, that's not as good. Completed once it's end of season by next the end of next March. I guess it's alright, you know? Uh, so, we're getting new youth facilities. We've improved the training facilities twice now. So, what should that be? We're currently... We're currently... Below average, so should we be average training facilities? Is that what's going to happen? So maybe below average youth and average training facilities. We're moving up in the world. If we can get another good run in a, a, a competition, maybe we can buy the stadium at the end of the season. What do you think here? Hmm. All right, let's let's move forward. Yeah, so we are only five points clear halfway through the season now. Um, we've drawn two, lost two. This one was the worst. I mean, it was just a bad game. I mean, it's not like we've been absolutely smashing people, although I think you could say 3-1, 3-1, 4-1, 3-1. I mean, it's the Winster Senior League, right? They're two leagues below us. But then, like, a 1-0 over Sligo, a 2-0 over UCD, and then losing to Derry City, who at the, currently are sixth, was meh. Then we turned around three days later and, and beat them in the A Sports Cup quarterfinal. Um, so, and we've continued our run in the Leinster Senior Cup to the final against Shamrock. Um, it's been okay, right? It's not like we're beating folks 7-0 or anything like that. We drew, we just drew a Dundalk. Bello with a missed penalty. We, we don't have penalty takers, and I've changed our training. Um, like, I had like a week of set piece stuff, and I added penalties, and I've added some penalty stuff in it, and it's obviously, unless you like really, 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 really focus on it, I don't think it's massively going to improve. So that's a little disappointing, um, but we're not here for that today, my friends. We are going to do um, at least the Romania game, maybe the Poland game. I don't really know if there's if that's worth showing you. We, we got four days. I still have to hop you know, forward, but this is what the squad looks like. We're sticking with the 4-3-1-2. Gavin, Michael McGuire, Ademo, Connor Kelly, Tom Field, uh, Kevin O'Connor, is the backup there. Kelly, we've only got Lee O'Connor as a backup. But again, the, the second game is a friendly, so I kind of looked at it like, yeah, if we have to go kind of crazy and rotate different people in for that, it's a friendly. Who cares? Um, we did bring Will Shaw back to give Maguire a rest if we need to in the friendly. And, you know, hopefully give Will Shaw a little bit of a confidence boost. He's not played exceptionally well in the championship. He's a 6'5". Five, five. Um... Calling Daniel Gennadu back up still. Eric Brogel. 
Um, Hendrick is there as kind of that, you know, veteran steel. This is probably the last go around for him. Like, I think his career is is going to end in December of this year with Vasco da Gama. Um, but, you know, he's got the 11 leadership and 16 teamwork, so we wanted to bring him in. Callum Thompson here, Callum O'Hare, Kona Ronan, Adam Ida is back in the in the in the mix. David Doyle, Neil O'Donovan, Casty, Para, and Steven Seddon. Because I mean he scored what was it, a brace in his debut. So of course you come back in for that. Um, 18 years old. I'm telling you, he's our Christian Polis. Like Josh Cullen still, Jake Doyle Hayes, and Martin O'Neill. So kind of our regular like I dropped like uh, a couple of the players that were just like we just wanted to, to cap tie them. Like, see you later. We'll see you in like a year or two. And bringing in, you know, Adam Ida because I mean, look at the look at the attacking talent. This is as a, you know, I don't get to watch all the Ireland games and all that kind of stuff, and I I do see some of these guys like listed in the under twenty ones teams and stuff like that currently in present day, uh, two thousand nineteen. But it's just like wow, Troy Parrott, essentially four and a half star. Ryan, it, it, let's just look at the just four star or above talent, right? Troy Parrott, Ryan Cassidy, David Doyle. Um, Adam Ida almost there, Neil Donovan almost there. I mean, again, this is all in comparison to each other too. So like that, that plays a part. Martin O'Neill, you know, some of these are, are regens, but it, it, Adam Ida is real. Uh, Neil Donovan's not. Who else is real? I mean, that's young, right? Casty and Parrot are real. It's just like, wow, look at those players. This is freaking crazy. Um, so that's what's going on there. Let me let me pull up my spreadsheet so I can share the rest of the things with you. You can't see the spreadsheet. I can. Um, we got another 525000 in Europa League money because it, it finally wrapped up. Um, Marseille won the Europa League. 71.42K in Europa League coefficient ranking pool money. I, I think someone explained that to me the last go-round, and I still don't remember what that means. And then Bayern won the Champions League. They actually stomped Liverpool in the semifinal. I think it was like 4-0, something like that. Um... That's that's where we're at, my friends. So um, I'm gonna hop us forward. We got 9.3 million in the bank. Mm, we've got more comments saying buy a stadium. I'm I'm gonna see. I think we're gonna wait on that to ask for anything else until we get through our next continental competition run, and hopefully have 12, 13, 14 million. Maybe if we can make a good run, right? Like it was a four or five million bump here. Um, wasn't it? Because I know we went public. We, we became a publicly traded company, and that just throwing everything off. Um, six mil, five point six from the Europa League last season. Um, so if we can get another, I mean, obviously we're going to spend some of the money we have, but if that drops us down, you know, to seven million, and then we sp we earn another five, we're up to twelve. Maybe we can get a stadium or something like that. I don't know, but let's hop forward. One of our under 19 players, not Revol I mean, he's he's a Kevin Tealy player. Yeah. So this is interesting. Romania beat Luxembourg 5 0 away from home. Finland drew with Armenia. So coming into our game, we are the second game Romania is going to play. Maybe that gives us a little bit of an advantage, although it makes me a little nervous. They got a plus eight goal differential. Um, although I think you could just say Luxembourg's obviously not very good. We beat them 4 0. Um, so. Equal footing. That's interesting. We're away from home as well, but maybe, you know, they're more tired because they just played a game. The board have announced our youth facilities work is done. We now have below average youth facilities, my friends. Woo! -hoo! Get excited. Other thing that um, I just realized, and, and I guess shame on me since I'm in charge, I guess, but I thought the game would assign managers for the under 21 and under 19 squads. It has with Mick Neville. Who has a one motivating? It's good, um, but Roy Keane is serving as the under twenty one manager, which I don't know if that's good or not. And so I tried to, you know, I went went through, and I, it's not like I posted the job or anything like that. But you know, when one of the managers got fired in the Premier Division or elsewhere, I was like, oh, it looks like a pretty good manager. I'll offer him the job, and they said no. And I'm like, hmm. So if you have experience at the international level. Is this something you just accept? Because, like, there is the option to have, like, uh, hold on, let me go look at my staff here. No, wrong. Oh, hold on. Um, this staff. Uh, if I come down here, right, I could say offer the B job that we don't even have a B team. So, like, will that generate a B team? Can they be on our staff and, you know, with 
the under 21 setup, I, it makes me nervous. So I haven't done anything with that. Um, let me know your thoughts. Just some other updates for you. David Brady on loan at Limerick. Doing all right. I mean, obviously playing time's doing him good. He's on a 6-6-1 in the division below us. I mean, I know he's 18, but ugh, come on, son. Um, maybe it's Limerick. Um, but he is improving, so that's, I think, a positive. Uh, Aaron Brennan on a 7.2. He's got four goals in 16. Not as, you know, rapid as he was at the start. But, you know, continues to improve. Overall, looks quite tasty. Um, Tom Caffrey's doing okay. Five goals, three. I mean, okay, he's got the more goals than the striker, I guess. Um, 15 starts, five goals, three assists on a 7-0-8. That seems to be suiting him. He needs to, I mean, he's getting up there, you know, in terms of us keeping him, right? Like, his concentration's terrible. I don't know if we could justify keeping him, you know, after the end of the season. So that's a little disappointing. And just an update on Erich. We have 101 days left before we could have the chance, the chance, the opportunity to bring him in. I'm a little nervous that his physicals here haven't improved. I've had him working on acceleration and pace. Um, 19 determination is just ridiculous. And then his heading hasn't really improved either. So if you got any pointers on how I can improve that, I'd appreciate it. All right, my friends, here we go. In case you're wondering, if I, if I pause for some unnecessary reason on the screen, uh, I, I went to a doctor this morning, not the morning you're seeing this, but um, still working out the vertigo stuff. So I'm not 100% like great, but we're going to, we're pressing on my friends. Um, just to kind of give an update on the competition. That's how we sit. This essentially... It's not the only thing that would decide our future, but if they go up 12 points to our 6, would be very bad. A draw would be acceptable. It would just make our home game against them kind of like the deciding factor um, in all of this. They are heavily favored. 4-6 to six odds. Versus our 7-2 to, to win. 9-4 to four for a draw. So definitely favoring them winning. Now, again, that's just based off their, you know, three results against Armenia, Finland, and Luxembourg. So maybe we can come in and upset the apple cart, my friends. Here's how we line up a 4-3-1-2 with Maguire on attack. Maybe support would be better. Uh, I'm so torn. He's got the flair. I think we'll do support. So maybe not as far forward. We've got Cullen on attack, O'Neal on support, Dole Hayes on the deep line paymaker defend, Seddon on attack, Cassidy and Parrot obviously on attack. So again, the idea Maguire gets forward, our back three kind of hang tight, Dole Hayes helps out defensively, everybody else is doing their thing on the attacking third side of things. We are severely out of match sharpness. Excellent. We got Connor Kelly because he's, you know, in season. Um, Cullen, apparently, Syria, still in season, so he's match sharp, everybody else, it's shaky, oh, gosh, okay, so now we have to look, we got Tom Field, he had 40 starts, four subs on a 6.85, playing for Barnsley in the championship on a 6.86, in league, at least, versus Kevin O'Connor, 14 in Major League Soccer on a 7.01, but he's match sharp, I think we're gonna swap him out. That feels like a mistake, but it kind of is what it is, you know, when you look at the players who are match sharp. I mean, I could I could put Jeff Hendrick in for Jake Doyle Hayes, but I don't think he's good enough to justify that. And Cullen is match sharp and is slightly better. So that's how here here we mm -hmm. that's always good when you say, Oh, by the way, we're swooping out swapping out our left backs here right before the game. Um we'll get the sound turned on here in a second. They play a four two three one with two DMs. Pick up where you left off, lads. We're smashing people. Ignore the fact that they just smashed the same people and that this game could determine our fate. Uh, he's a natural choice. I like how they just asked the one question. That's, you know, I kind of like that. Um, I ra Since I've rambled on a little bit and shown you a bunch of different things, um, player updates and stuff like that, I think we're just going to do the one game today on key highlights unless it goes really, really fast. Um, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So let's just see how it plays out. Okay. I love that, like, in the in the press, Steven Sutton was like, he was unafraid. He was like, let's freaking do this. And Josh Cullen has just absolutely scored a worldie, in my opinion. Four minutes in, well outside the box. I mean, he's, what, 23 yards out, maybe something like that? O'Neal, Maguire, 
finds the open man in space. I mean, yeah, he's probably 20 to 23 yards out. Smacks it home. Early lead away from home, my friends. Can we continue down that path? Let's just score every four minutes. That'd be that'd be great. Score every four minutes. Fantastic times. No, 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 no penalties, Maguire. Let's let's start with no red cards. Okay, like maybe that's a goal for the game. Don't lose and don't get any red cards. Headed away, not really, not far enough. Back out wide. Where's our left back? He's marking another player. Oh, he should have had that. That's what happens when you're backup. That's what happens when you're backup. I really need Gavin to go get another, another team. But I don't want to drop him to encourage him to do that because he's that much better. But I mean, he's there. It comes out over here. I mean, I mean that's just poor keeping. I think. I think that's a, that's a 6.5 for me. Okay. Okay, they've had more shots now than us, but clear-cut chances are even at zero. The half chances are even at zero. So, yeah, bad goalkeeping moment and a smash, smashed goal from Cullen is what's going on in this game. So, that's interesting. All right, lads. All right, lads. Demand more. Oh, they're listening. Cullen's on an 8.1. He's feeling it. Get the ball to Josh Cullen, please. Come on, boys. Frontline's not doing it. Again, I, I wouldn't be disappointed if we got a draw. I'd be slightly disappointed based on the start, you know, first four minutes. But, you know, maybe the goalkeeper, his coffee hadn't kicked in yet. He wasn't He wasn't with it. Um, I've been happy to perform. I want to be positive. Oh, gosh. It's, it's, not, it's not good. And I'm nervous that they've got, you know, two players on each wing. Because, right, because we get Maguire going forward in that complete wingback role. He's got to be able to track back. But he's really good. So, he's on a 6.9 as it is. Got the assist, you know, he says as they concede. Got to love when the guys on the, on the line just stand there and watch. Uh, let's not. Let's, let's not watch, shall we? Oh, now the nerves are kicking in. Oh, we've we've killed a man. We've injured him. He's gone off. Okay, it's time to take good grief, Troy Perry. You're you're killing me, son. You're killing me. Killing me, son. Anyway, um, I actually don't know who our our best option is. You got Do Doyle, Doyle, just based off the ratings. Um, do we take Sudden off? And to bring on Ronan. I think we'll make one change. O'Connor's played, of course. Of course, he and Kelly played 6.4s. That's fantastic. Um, Go make a difference. We're going to have to go attack, and we need the goal. We need the goal. Of course, that opens us up. They've had 17 shots, my friends. This is devastation. We need now... If we don't, if we don't get an equalizer here, we need help from someone else in the group. That's probably not going to happen, I don't think. Cleared away. Doyle. The substitute comes on. What's he got in his locker? He's got a nice pass to Cassidy, who is one-on-one -on -one with a man, goes around him, and then passes it to the keeper's hands. When he could have gone six-yard box, some, any, some, anything, something, anything. Um, I, mm -hmm. I guess we'll bring on... Oh, Ronan is so not Matt Sharp. Oh, my goodness. But... He comes on, and we're going to put him on attack. We'll kind of drop him back a little bit. He goes on attack. If you're going to be anxious, we'll bring on Tom Field and immediately regret having started you. Congratulations. Come on, boys. Oh, 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 oh. Don't shout yet. We have to have a throw in that we get the ball right back. So hard to find somebody in white. Cullen steals it away, though. Cullen is... Mm justifying his selection Cassidy he's got seven to beat no problem Ronan gets it to Doyle he's got the man on the run oh he took his time McGuire out there takes a touch crosses it in Ca oh no now the counter is on now the counter is on there goes a man with the ball uh, Demo. oh no oh. interest I don't know if I've ever seen uh, a goalkeeper animation go blah, like that at the last minute but we'll take it I guess considering it kept the goal out all right, boys. All right, boys. It's very attacking time, and it is push forward time. Okay, right. 
it's nothing's happening. That's good. Counter quickly. I you know counter press. We're gonna try a higher line, I guess. Everybody's already higher up. Let's see if we can engage them and win the ball back. I think. I think it's gonna come down to that goalkeeping error on the first goal. Is what it is. What it. Yep. Yep. Unless this, we got a minute, right? This is a, early enough in the highlight, enough time for this to be something. Instead, it's possession straight back to Romania. But, my friends, I mean, there's still a minute left. We've not earned a red card. And they've scored. This is what happens you go very attacking. But we've not earned a red card, so I, I think that's progress. I thought we had some of the 4 3 one too. Apparently, we have not found something in the 4 3 one too. Although, again, it's a good competition. Should we have played more defensively away from home? I don't know. I'm still going to say I'm far from pleased. I am pleased with Josh Cullen. Even though he's on the losing team 3-1, he gets the man of the match. That's kind of impressive to me. I'm not going to lie. Yep. Thank you, sir. Um, ba ba ba. Now, okay, because I can't remember all of the rules. Let's see. Okay, so there is a second place team's table. I don't... We're currently in that. Okay, okay. So that makes you feel, you know, a bit better. Not fantastic, because all it takes is a win from Albania and Scotland to push everybody down. But we're still ahead of these three teams. So that's a, okay. I don't think, again, I'm going to show you the Poland friendly. We're going to be at home. Next uh, international window is Finland and Armenia. So that's an opportunity to rack up some goal differential and, and goal scored and points. This becomes, I think, the most important game right here. Although you could argue correctly right like okay they've got a game ahead of us so if we win our next game and act nine points okay then we'd be three points behind but we would have a game left to play against them which could make the difference although we really need to rack up some goal differential if we want to try and take first place with a victory over romania in whatever that was october yeah so in the meantime friends the next time you see us we will be coming back for some sort of champions league i'll bring you back um do I bring you back for the draw? Let me show you the draw here at the end. If you're still here, this is going to be your reward. I'm going to play forward until we get the draw for our Champions League uh, qualification game. And then the next game will be actually playing that, that set of games. So let's do that. I'll see you in however long it takes me to do this. As expected, Jeff Hendrick is retiring. So that's what I thought was going to happen. That's what's going to happen at the end of the year. All right, my friends. Us or Shrak from Armenia will play Hapol Birshiva from Israel or Zrinsky Mostar from Bosnia and Herzegovina in the Champions League second qualifying phase. Wait. So it already did the draw? I was expecting... Oh, we have to play them. But why didn't it... I didn't click next. There's the draw. We play Chirac. Okay. One and a half star national reputation from Armenia. Based off of what's happening. Wait, where is it? Sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. They currently have one point in Euro qualifying. We have... No, they have four. We have six. Uh, okay. But just based off of other aspects, like, okay, national one-star reputation. And we are two and a half star. We're a whole star better, my friends. And they pay their players about what we do. Maybe actually less than what we do. So that's, you know, and they're not valued. So that's, obviously, we don't have the Armenian League loaded. If we get through that, we'll play the winner of these two teams, e either an Israeli team or a Bosnia and Herzegovina team. And that is going to happen, my friends. July 7th. That'll be a double header episode, July 7th and 14th. I'm just checking what our schedule looks like here. Okay, so next international break is September. So I don't have to worry about that. So this is the, this is where the season really kicks off, I think, is 
what happens in the Champions League qualifying, get past them, move on. Okay, if we're in the second qualifying, I can never remember. That's an improvement, isn't it? No, we're in the first qualifying. If we get past them, it would be second qualifying, third qualifying. So essentially one, two, three, four games or ties, and we could be into the group stage. Is that an improvement, being in the first qualifying phase? I feel like second would have been an improvement, not first. Last season, we were in the qualifying first, first. Yeah, we were in the same one. So we've not improved enough, I guess, from like a coefficient standpoint. Whatever that means. All right, my friends. I'm going to hop forward less than a month in game time. We're going to play 600 more games. <laughs> Wait, that's last season. Uh, we're going to play one, two, actually, three, four, three games and a cup game. And then we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you wouldn't mind, if you did enjoy that, despite the loss to Romania, hit the like button. We'll see you then. Yay, second place best team thing. Mm -hmm.